Hello guys and welcome back to another huge sushi swap market update. Now make sure to watch the entire video because like I just said, this is a huge update and sushi swap is likely to have a mega breakout once it finally goes above its resistance line. Look at this beautiful chart. This is a perfect falling wedge. Now before getting into the price targets, if you guys enjoy these videos, if you would like to see more of it, make sure to smash the thumbs up. So we're gonna start on the weekly and we have a bullish cross. We can see the blue line has gone above the orange line and the histogram is getting greener, bigger, and stronger. Now let's talk about this falling wedge for a second guys, because this is a perfect textbook falling wedge. I mean, it just looks beautiful. And if you guys remember, PancakeSwap was trading in more or less the same pattern before it ended up breaking out and pretty much doubling in a matter of weeks. So yes, guys, I already know once we're able to establish support above this resistance line, the breakout is going to be brutal to the upside. Now let's take a look at the exponential moving averages and I only have two of them. We have the short term exponential moving averages which are these green lines right here and we're still trading below this. We also have the long term exponential moving averages and the first level of resistance at least right now as of recording this video is $5.75. Suchi is looking like it wants to retest this long-term exponential moving average once again. And even from this current price of $3.50, that would be a nice 70% pump. Also guys, check this out because I understand that when prices are low, Suchi is trash. It's dead. It, it doesn't work. But if we take a Fibonacci retracement measurement, we can see that Suchi is right now trading in between the 78.6 and the 100% retracement levels, guys. This is an extreme deal. So pretty much this is accumulation zone, guys. When Sushi was at $23, then it had a correction towards $18. Of course, that's, you know, a little bit of a discount, but nothing compared to the discount we have right now, guys. This is pretty much an 85% discount. Now, this is the opposite of a Fibonacci retracement. This one is a Fibonacci extension. Going forward, these price targets are going to be resistance levels and anything above $24 will be a new price target. It's so cheap, guys. Look, the first price target, assuming a low right here, would be the 23.6 ratio, which is approximately $7.50. We also have the 38.2 at $10.60 the 50% retracement level, which is $13, the 61.8 ratio, which is $15.50. We also have the 78.6 ratio, which is $19, the 100% ratio, which is $24, and the 161.8 ratio, which is likely to be the new all-time high based on previous volatility, and this is pretty much $36. So yes, guys, Suchi is likely to 10x from this current prices. And that is, of course, assuming bullish continuation. That's not to say that we can't keep falling towards 40 cents because that is the lowest. The lower we go on this correction, the higher is going to be the new all-time high price target because that adds more volatility to the equation. Okay, guys, now we're down to the three day chart because this is a huge pattern. So I'm not gonna go down to the daily. We can see we have this resistance line right here in yellow, which we're right now retesting. And obviously, guys, if we end up breaking it and going above it, Suchi is likely to have a huge pump, more so when we have not gone above it for the entire duration of this falling wedge. So yes, this would be a major event based on technical analysis. We can also see that the three day MACD is right now on a bullish cross. And as of recording this video, it is reprinting a green candle again. Now let's discuss this real quick guys, because this right here could be a potential double bottom. So we have this low and so far a higher low. Here would be the neckline along with the long-term exponential moving average. Now, if we're able to hold this bullish fractal 
and we go above the neckline, we should retarget a previous level of resistance. And guys, Suchi Swap is likely to break out of this falling wedge sometime soon because pretty much as we get closer to the apex, we just have less and less volatility. And of course, a falling wedge is a bullish pattern. So I am more biased towards a bullish breakout. Okay, guys, so let's talk about Chainlink for a minute because Chainlink also had a wedge just like the one that Suchi has right now. And so I entered this market pretty much on August 20. 20. So I experienced this brutal falling wedge all the way from pretty much $19 to a low of $7. And I knew guys, I didn't know anything about crypto at that time, but I did know technical analysis and I just knew it. As soon as it breaks out, it is going to be a massive breakout. And look at it guys, we had a high of $19, a low of $7 and then we ran to a new all-time high of $52. And right now, we're repeating the same pattern at a bigger scale. And this is what I believe is going to happen with SuchiSwap. We just had the first massive leg up with the first season of decentralized finance, which like I said, guys, we're gonna have one of those again where DeFi will go mainstream. Once we break this falling wedge, we're likely to pretty much retarget this previous highs, maybe consolidate around there for some time. And once we break out higher, this is going to be a massive and ridiculous pump for SuchiSwap. Do not forget guys, you have to understand what SuchiSwap is. They're the number two DEX on the Ethereum mainnet. They are listed on pretty much every single exchange, centralized and decentralized, they're a cross-chain protocol. They're also listed on derivatives exchanges. So we have everything we need to go to the moon with Suchi Swap. Okay, so I did mention that Suchi double bottom and that double bottom is even more likely to work out if Bitcoin is able to hold above this support line right now. We are testing the 61.8 ratio, which is around 40, which is around $40,000 measuring from a low of 33 to a high of 40. We still have an overall higher high, higher low structure. So despite this bearish pattern, I would expect the trend to continue, in which case we're going to find support along the support line in the next couple of days, and then we'll move higher to retest those resistance levels once again and if we do that guys suchi is likely to perform very well in the immediate short term even if it is within a bigger downtrend also guys let's take a quick look at the bitcoin dominance chart as we're right now on our way to retest the support line at 39 percent and if we do this guys i'm gonna show you all we have to do is just this we just break below 39 retest 35 break below 35 and right then and there, we would have a major altcoin season. And I'm telling you guys, Suchi Swap is one of those coins that is just going to benefit so much from an altcoin season. Understand, there is thousands upon thousands of cryptocurrencies, and you want the ones that will perform. Now, if you guys have any questions regarding Suchi Swap or just cryptocurrencies in general, make sure to join our Telegram community in the description below this video, also the top comment. There, you can ask questions 24 seven and we'll be glad to help you. It doesn't matter how basic or how complex your question is. Now, like always, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to remain updated and I'll see you guys in the next video.